Hello everyone. Welcome to Study to Win Education Channel. In this particular lecture of Metrology and Quality Control, I am going to talk on how to calculate a width of a slotted component, which is given in this particular diagram. This is the component which has a slot in it. This is the width that I want to measure. Let's mark it as a W. This is the width I am talking about. So this is W which I want to measure. Now uh, this I want to measure with the simple instruments like spears and height gauge. One spear and one height gauge I can be able to measure this width. So let's check how to do it. First of all we should know the height of the component. This component is placed on let's say on a surface table. So what is the height of this component is H1. Let's say it's H1 and now put a spear inside the slot. Consider this is the spear that is kept inside the slot and which has a center O. Now make a geometrical constructions. Draw a line joining the point touching the spear and the center of the spear. So this will always be a 90 degree. Let's call this point as a A. Draw a horizontal line like this call this point as a B and then one more vertical line and then this small horizontal line. Let's call this as a C and this as a D. Now here width W is equal to 2 into distance OB plus CD. Now our intention here is to find the OB and CD but before we should know it we should know the angle of this slot. So this slot has some angle 2 theta and if I draw a normal to it this angle will be equal to theta. Now angle between these two lines and angle between perpendicular to these two lines is same. So the perpendicular to this vertical line is this line and perpendicular to this inclined line is this line. So angle between these two lines is theta then angle between these two lines will also be equal to theta which is known or which is calculated by some other uh, simple instruments which I have shown in some other video. Now uh, we know theta. Now let's find distance OB. OB I will calculate is equal to to find OB I will apply cos theta to triangle AOB applying cos theta to triangle OAB cos theta is equal to AO divided by OB Therefore, OB is equal to AO divided by cos theta. AO is nothing but diameter of the spear which is also known. Sorry, radius of the spear which is also known. So, OB is equal to D by 2 cos theta. So, this is now known. Then, we should find CD. CD can be find, found out from triangle BCD apply uh, first of all we should know this angle theta and if this is angle theta then this will also be equal to angle theta because uh, this line is perpendicular to this line and this line is perpendicular to this line so this small angle is also equal to theta so apply tan theta is equal to CD divided by BC now we want to find CD therefore CD is equal to BC into tan theta where BC is equal to this is H1 we will take one more measurement on the top of sphere with a height gauge and let's call that as a H2 so BC can be found out like radius of sphere that is from this point to this point this is a radius minus H2 minus H1 that means H2 minus H1 we got this small distance and if this distance we subtract it from the radius we get this BC therefore CD is equal to 
d by 2 minus h2 plus h1 tan theta. Therefore, w is equal to 2 into d by 2 cos theta plus d by 2 minus h2 plus h1 tan theta. So this is the simple equation that we have got which will give you the width of the component which can be measured using the simple instrument like one sphere and a height gauge. Now we will try to solve or derive the equation for calculating the convex radius of a component using simple instruments like sphere and micrometer or roller and micrometer. So this is the component that we have and we want to find this radius. Let's call it as a capital R. Make some geometrical corrections before that put some rollers at the side of this component which has equal diameters let's say small d. Take a measurement outside these rollers and let's call it as a small l. And then make a geometrical constructions. Join this point with the center of a roller. Draw a horizontal line and draw a vertical line from this point. So this is 90 degree and this is O, this is let's say A and this is B. Then from triangle OAB apply Pythagoras theorem we will get AO square is equal to AB square plus BO square. Now AO is nothing but we know this is the radius capital R plus this small d by 2 capital R plus d by 2 bracket square is equal to AB is nothing but this length divided by 2 minus this d by 2 so L by 2 minus d by 2 bracket square plus BO is very simple capital R minus d by 2 bracket square because we know this is the R capital R and we have to subtract this small distance that is d by 2 from the capital R. Now solve this equation or expand this equation we will get R square plus RD plus D square by 4 is equal to L square by 4 minus LD by 2 plus D square by 4 plus R square minus RD plus D square by 4 cancel out the common terms r square r square d square by 4 d square by 4 what remains rd and here it is minus rd let's call it as a 2 rd here is equal to l square by 4 minus ld by 2 plus d square by 4 multiply both the sides by 4 what we get is 8 rd is equal to l square minus 2 ld plus d square we know this is the expansion of term L minus D bracket square and we want capital R. So take this A to D on the other side. So this is the equation that you get after the derivation which will give the capital radius R of a convex part using simple component or instruments like a sphere and a micrometer. Uh, this is the idea. This is the lecture. I uh, hope you like this lecture. If you uh, if you are liked the lecture, please hit the like button, share this with your friends, subscribe the channel, and thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Thank you.